Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are going to take a look at the last question, question 31, that appeared in 2016 CBSC class 10 math exam and how do we solve this question. So let's take a look at the question first. A motorboat whose speed is 24 km per hour in still water takes one hour more to go 32 km upstream then to return downstream to the same spot. Find the speed of the stream. This may sound like one, one pretty straightforward question. It's a very short question apparently. We can see it's a pretty short question in terms of the length. But let's make sure that we understand this very clearly. We have a motorboat whose speed is given in still water. It takes one hour more to go 32 kilometer upstream than to return downstream to the same spot. So let's first understand what we are talking about here. So let's say this is a stream and we have a boat, right? And the boat actually is going from this point. Let's draw the stream a bit, a bit more. This is point A and this is point B. So, and the stream is flowing this direction. So let's say the, the speed of the stream is X. Right? The stream is flowing this direction. Now the speed of the boat is given as some number here, right? So let's just call it for discussion sake it is y. So when the boat is going from here to here, right? So the stream is helping. So the total speed will be the speed of the boat plus x, right? So in other words, if the speed of the boat is faster, the boat will reach this point quickly, right? So let's say it takes the boat t1 time to get from A to B. Now, similarly now, if we think about the same situation, this is a stream and this is a point A and this is a point B. Now, the stream is flowing in this direction with the same speed x. And now the boat starts over actually at point B here and is going to come this direction, right? And boat speed is x. So what do you think will happen now? Now that the stream is flowing in the opposite direction, right? The actual effective speed will be x minus, actually it will be if, if this speed is y, we assume the speed of the boat is y. So the net speed this time will be y minus x because the stream is working against the boat. So the boat will take longer to get from point B to point A. So if this time is T2, right? So downstream means when the speed of the boat and the speed of the stream or the water current is in the same direction. So then it is taking T1 time and when it is coming upstream, meaning against the stream, it is taking T2. And what is given is that T2, the time taken, when it is going upstream, it is taking longer, minus T1, the time taking for it to go downstream is equal to one hour. This is what is given. So before we solve the question, I wanted to make sure that we understand what the question is saying. Now, a lot of these dimensions are given. So, what is given is we have been given AB, which is the distance between the two points that is given as 32 kilometers. 32 kilometers, right? And the motorboat speed is also given. So, or which is basically we took that as Y, right? So, Y is given as 24. So, 24 is basically the speed of the motorboat by itself in still water. 24 kilometer. We have to find out x. We have to find out the speed of the stream. So now we are going to actually take this information and this equation and solve for x. So let's clean all of this up. So what we have is now we also will use the fact that this is more of a science, a little bit of a science here. Speed is equal to distance by time. We know this, that speed means the amount of distance that we cover per unit of time, right? 
So we are going to use this formula. So for T1, when we were going downstream, right? When we were going downstream, so T1, so time will be, so if you take the time over here, and the speed will come in the denominator, right? The speed will come in the denominator here. So time will be distance, distance by speed, right? So for T1, particularly T1 will be equal to how much? So the distance is given as 32 divided by, when we are going downstream, both the speeds are working in the same direction. So speed of the boat 24 plus, we have assumed the speed of the stream as y, as x, so x. So T1 is this. Similarly, T2, when we are going upstream, or we should, let's write it here, upstream, meaning that the stream is working against us, will be distance, which is same as 32, by, now we have less speed, so motorboat speed, minus the speed of the stream, right? And now we have T2 minus T1 is equal to 1 hour. From here it implies 32 divided by T2 is this, 24 minus x. So this T, T2 minus T1 will be 32 divided by 24 plus x. So this is equal to 1. So we have to solve actually this equation. So we have to solve this equation. So let's find out how can we solve this equation. Let's give ourselves a little bit more space here. And now we have, let's write the equation again, 32 divided by 24 minus x minus 32 divided by 24 plus x and this difference is 1 hour. This is 1 hour. Right? So from here, so the denominator will be clearly, so this is in the form of a minus b times a plus b. Right? So which will be, if you multiply, it will be a square minus b square. So the denominator will be 24 square minus x square and here we will take 32 and this will be times 24 plus x 24 plus x and we have here minus 32 and this will be 24 minus x 24 minus x and this entire thing is equal to 1 or what we are going to do here we are going to take so we are going to take this term and we will take it over here. So on this side, we will take 32 common. If you notice here, we have 32 common. And we have 24 plus x. Here we have minus 24, right? Minus 24. And minus, minus will be plus x. So this entire thing will be equal to 24 square minus x square. Because when 24 square minus x square goes here, it will be 24 square minus x square. So now if you look at plus 24 minus 24, it will cancel out. So for this side, it will be, let's write it over here. It will be equal to 32 times 2x. x plus x is 2x. Or this will be 64x, I think, right? 64x. So we have 24 square minus x square equal to 64x. So let's continue to solve this. So 24 square minus x square is equal to 64x. So let's get all of these terms on the right side. So from here we will get, then it will be x square, right, x square plus 64x minus 24 square equal to 0. So at this point we can do a middle term factorization or we can simply go ahead and use the formula to find out the 
the two roots or the two solutions which is minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So let's just try to save some time and go this way. So if you were to compare this with the standard form of writing quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, then in that case a will be equal to 1, b will be equal to b will be equal to 64, a, b, c will be equal to minus 24 square, right? So let's go ahead and solve this. So let's find out this term first. So if you were to do b square minus 4ac, what do we get? So b squared is 64 squared, 64 squared minus 4, a is 1, and c, c is actually negative 24 squared, or this will be 64 squared minus minus plus 4 times 24 squared, right? So from here, actually what we can do is, 64 is 8 times 8. So there are going to be 64 will be 8 times 8. So 64 square means 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 plus we have 4 over here and and 24 will be 8 times 3. So and square means so we have 8 times 3 times 8 times 3. So you will see why I am doing it this way. So I can take 8 and 8 common, right? 8 times 8, I can take this common. So I can take 8 square common, then I will be left with 64. 8, 8 is 64. Plus if I take 8 times 8 out, so I am left with 4 times 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 36 or this will be 8 square times 30, 64 plus 36 is 100 and 100 is actually 10 square. So b square minus 4ac is 8 square times 10 square. That means square root of b square minus 4ac will be square root of 8 square times 10 square or 8 times 10 or 8 0. So this square root of this will be 8080, right? So let's give us a little bit more space and we are almost done now. So we have, so we have, let's, let's make sure that, uh, let's take a look. So we have a, a is 1. So our equation is x squared plus 64x minus 24 squared, right? So let's write this x squared plus 64x minus 24, right? So we have x square plus 64x minus 24 square equal to 0 or we have a equal to 1, we have b equal to 64 and we have c equal to minus 24 square, minus 24 square. So now the two solutions are if we want to write the mm. first solution as so so the two values are minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2 by 2a right so one root so the root will be minus b, so minus b is minus 64 plus this entire value is 80 plus 80, we just saw that by 2 times 1, this will be one root and similar to the other root will be same thing minus 64 but instead of plus it will be minus minus 80 by 2 times 1 now this value will be minus something because minus this minus this will be minus some value. So this will be a negative number. 
right? So whatever the value divide by that will be again a minus value. Now, but can x, remember we are so solving for x, right? x is what? x is the speed of the stream. So can the speed of the stream be negative? Answer is no. So this cannot be the right answer. So the right answer has to be this solution. This solution, right? So let's do it here. So this is going to be 80, 80 minus 64 by 2 or this will be 670, 80 by 16 by 2 or this will be equal to 8. So x will be equal to 8 and what is x? x is the speed. So the speed will be 8 kilometers per hour. So the speed of the stream is equal to 8 kilometers per hour. So this will be the answer to our last and final question 31.